I'm Jeff Wilson. Uh, I'm a recovering addict. I grew up in a lower middle class family. I had two working class parents. My mother was an addict. I grew up uh, with a brother who was also got a, into drugs and addiction early into his life. So I grew up with two addicts in my family from pretty much you know kindergarten age on. By the time I got into my, my early teens, I had had aspirations more of like being like my brother to where I got into selling drugs and, and smoking marijuana and drinking and the things I seen my brother doing who was six years older. And uh, no sooner than the time I, by the time I became 18, it had turned from that to pills, um, cocaine and meth, pretty much any drug I've, I've done. But uh, my, through, through this time, I, I, growing up, I never wanted to do much more than pot just because I seen what my mom became and um, I had some resentments to, to what addiction it did to her. And I never wanted to become that person. And by the time I was 20, I was addicted to pain medicine like my mother. And uh, the lows that a, a opiate addiction had took me to was um, two, two prison numbers uh, as well as being homeless, living in uh, pretty much, you know, shooting galleries or crack houses. But uh, the uh, lows that pr my addiction took me to, uh, like prison and these things and homelessness, I, I don't think them things were the things that made a change. Um, it wasn't until 2012 I, when I finally got into recovery and these things where um, I had went back to prison and at this point I didn't have a home to go back to if I did get out and uh, while I was seeing jail fighting this case um, I was stripped down to pretty much nothing left but my faith and um, that's the only thing I leaned on for that year and when I got out I, I ended up in a homeless shelter because like I said um, I didn't have a whole lot of family support at this time um, my father was pretty sick in a nursing home and he was really the only sober person I had in my life growing up. So when I was released and I got into a homeless shelter and I, I actually stumbled back into the church. Um, I never really was a church goer growing up or any of these things, but it was a big part of um, me finding recovery. The church I had went to had a 12 step meeting, um, Celebrate Recovery, which was a big part of my recovery. Um, along with NA and other 12-step groups, but it wasn't until I got into involved with um, support groups that I ever had real positive support in my life, um, nor did I realize how twisted my view of life was. Um, things that i seen growing up, um, like my mom doctor shopping or, or selling different things like that, um, were so normalized with, with having her and my brother in my life and just growing up in that environment. Um, I'd never really put myself around positive people. So that was a big part of my recovery just to, to plug into to these groups that are available to almost anyone. Um, I recommend AA in a tw any 12 step group. Um, or, and that's because the support it offers. Um, if you had grew up in a bad situation or anything like that, the biggest thing I could say is you do have to change everything. And that's, that's what had to change for me. Um, I actually, through plugging into this church, it gave me a whole fresh start um, and becoming part of a, a recovery group and getting a home group. Them were the things that made the biggest changes. Um, today, my life's really far removed from that. Um, I try to stay involved in my in my community, and uh, you know, I I do any type of community service I can to help out. And uh, it's a big part of what keeps me sober is staying busy. Um, my kids are my life now. Um, not chasing a daily high, um, not waking up just to get well. And, uh, you know, I just want to say, biggest thing I could share is, you know, plug into to the support that's out there for you. Um, you know, it's free for anyone to, to get involved in recovery. And, you know, that's the biggest thing I could recommend for anyone.